Hello students. Today let us study equations that can be reducible to linear equations in two variables. Now consider this equation 2 upon root x plus 3 upon root y is equal to 2 and 4 upon root x minus 9 upon root y is equal to minus 1. Obviously they are not linear equations in two variables. But they can be reduced to a linear equation in two variables and can be solved. How is it possible? Let us first observe this equations. We can see there are some repeating factors out there. What are those repeating factors? If you analyze this, we can see 2 upon root x becomes 2 into 1 upon root x plus 3 upon root y becomes 3 into 1 upon root y is equal to 2 and the second equation 4 upon root x can be written as 4 into 1 upon root x minus 9 by root y can be written as 9 into 1 upon root y is equal to minus 1. And you can see 1 upon root x is repeating in both these equations. Similarly, 1 by root y also. So we replace 1 upon root x and 1 upon root y by some variable. Let us replace 1 upon root x as m and 1 upon root y as n. In these above equations, then 2 into 1 upon root x that becomes 2 into root 1 upon root x is n plus 3 into 1 upon root y 1 upon root y as you see is n 3n is equal to 2 and similarly second equation 4 into 1 upon root x becomes 4n minus 9 into 1 upon root y becomes 9n is equal to minus 1. Thus you can see both these equations are reduced to linear equations in two variables. But they are not in x and y but they are in m and n. We can solve these two equations in m and n. Let us mark these equations 3 and 4. These two equations in two variables can be solved by any of the method that we have learned earlier either by substitution method or by elimination method the elimin or by cross multiplication. Elimination method is being preferred. So if we eliminate one of the variable, we can see the coefficient of m and n are 4 and 2. We take LCM of 4 and 2, which is 4. So we want to make the coefficients equal to 4. So we multiply the first equation by 2 and second equation by 1. So it becomes 4n plus 3 into 2 that is 6n is equal to 4 and 4m minus 9n is equal to minus 1. Eliminating by subtracting now. Changing the sign. 4 is eliminated. 15n is equal to 5. That becomes n is equal to 5 upon 1 upon 5 into 1 upon 15 or 5 upon 15. That is equal to 1 upon 3. Now put the value of n in one of the equations, equation 3 or equation 4. So we are going to put in equation 3, 2m, the equation is 2m plus 3m, that is 3 into 1 upon 3 is equal to 2. Simplifying, we get this, 2m plus 1 is equal to 2 
2m is equal to 2 minus 1 that is 2m is equal to 1 or m is equal to 1 upon 2 thus we got the value of m and n but we wanted to find out the value of x and y so what is it? m and n we have a 1 upon root x is equal to m that is equal to 1 upon 2 so 1 upon root x is equal to 1 by 2 cross multiplying it becomes root x is equal to 2 or removing the square root that is by squaring x is equal to 4 similarly we get n n is equal to 1 upon root y n is equal to 1 upon 3 so we get cross multiplying root y is equal to 3 squaring y is equal to 9 so thus we get the value of x as at 4 and y is equal to 9 we can check it by putting the values back x is equal to 4 so 4 upon root 4 root 4 is root x sorry root x four, uh, x is 4 so root 4 is 2 2 by 2 is 1 <coughs> 3 upon root y root y is 3 so that 3 upon 3 is 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so the LHS and RHS are equal similarly the same result can be obtained here also Concern this question solve for x and y if you look at this equation you can see they are not linear equations in two variables but by analyzing you can see or observing these equations you can see that there are some terms that is repeating in both these which can be replaced and that's what you are going to do so 5 upon x minus 1 can be again rewritten as 5 into 1 upon x minus 1 plus 1 upon y minus 2 is written as 1 upon y minus 2 itself is equal to 2 and second 6 upon x minus 1 is written as 6 into 1 upon x minus 1 minus 3 into 1 upon y minus 2 is equal to 1. Now, if you replace 1 upon x minus 1 by some variable as we saw m and 1 upon y minus 2 by variable n, let us see what does it become. 5 into 1 upon x minus 1 that is 5m plus 1 upon y minus 2 n is equal to 2 again 6 into 1 upon x minus 1 that is 6m minus 3 into 1 minus 3 into 1 upon y minus 2 1, 1 upon y minus 2 is n so therefore 3n is equal to 1 and you can see that they are both linear equations in two variables. Thus, the given equations 1 and 2 are reduced to two linear equations in two variables. Now, solving them by any method, we are using elimination method. For that, we take an LCM of 5 and 6, that is 30, to make each coefficient of m30 multiply first equation by 6 and second equation by 5. In simple cases, we have seen that just to multiply the first equation by the coefficient of the variable from second equation and multiply the second equation by the coefficient of m from the first equation. In simple cases, where we get a LCM as the product, multiplying we get. 30m plus 6n is equal to 12 and 60m minus 15n is equal to 5. Thirty. 
subtracting twenty one n is equal to seven twenty one n or n is equal to seven upon twenty one that is equal to one upon Putting this value of n in any of the equation three and four, we get five m plus n that is seven one upon three is equal to two. That is five m is equal to two minus one upon three. That is equal to three six minus one. That is five by three. Five m is equal to five by three, or n is equal to five by three into one upon five. Five m by cancel, we get n is equal to one upon three. So we got the value of both n and m. N is equal to one upon three, and m is equal to m is also equal to one upon three. Substituting these values in any of this equation, any of the substitution, we get n is one upon y minus two. So one upon y minus two is equal to one upon three. Cross multiplying, y minus two is equal to three, or y is equal to five, and m is equal to one upon x minus one. So replacing. M as one upon x minus one is equal to one upon three. Cross multiplying, x minus one is equal to three, or x is equal to three plus one, that is four. So we got x is equal to four and y is equal to five. Now we can check this. Whether they are correct or not by substituting in this equation. Let us do the checking by putting the value of x and y in the first equation. Five upon x minus one. X is four. Four minus one plus one upon y is five. Five minus two is equal to five upon four minus one three. Plus one upon three that is equal to LCM three five plus one six six by three that is equal to two. So the set is verified. Can be done in the second equation also. Six upon x is equal to four. So four minus one minus three upon five minus two is equal to six divided by three. Minus three divided by five minus two three. That is two minus one is equal to one. So thus LHS is equal to RHS in both the parts we get, and thus our solution is correct. Consider the example three. 4x plus 3y is equal to 6xy. 2x plus 4y is equal to 5xy. By observing these equations, we understand that they are not linear equations in two variables because uh, xy is not linear. The degree of y, x is one and y is also one. Together, it forms two. So, uh, how to solve it? Considering the first equation, 4x plus 3y is equal to 6xy. If you divide both sides by xy, because we want to remove this xy, think like that. Xy and xy cancel. Then we get this also becomes 4x upon xy plus 3y upon xy is equal to. 6xy, xy, xy cancel and we get x. Here also, x and x cancel, y and y cancel. So the equation becomes 4 upon y plus 
3 upon x is equal to 6. Doing this same for the second equation, we have 2x plus 4y is equal to 5xy dividing whole by xy. We get 2x upon xy plus 4y upon xy is equal to 5. x and x cancel, we get 5, y and y cancel, so the equation becomes 2 upon y is equal to plus 4 upon x is equal to 5. Now look at these two equations, that is equation number 3 and equation number 4. If you study this equation, let us write it separately and see. Equation 3 is written as 4 into 1 upon y plus 3 into 1 upon x is equal to 6. And fourth equation, 2 upon y is written as 2 into 1 upon y plus 4 into 1 upon x is equal to 5. You can see the repeating terms are 1 upon y and 1 upon x. So we replace both the repeating. 1 upon y is replaced as n and 1 upon x is replaced as n. So the first, the third equation becomes 4n plus 3 into 1 upon x, that is 3n is equal to 6. And the fourth equation becomes 2 n plus 4 into 1 upon x, 1 upon x we have taken as n for n is equal to 5. Thus, we reduce the equation 1 and 2 into two linear equations. Now we are going to solve it by elimination method. You know, for elimination method, we make the coefficients equal. For that we take the LCM of 4 and 2. LCM of 4 and 2 is 4 and to make the coefficients 4, multiply the first equation by 1 and the second equation by 2. So this equation becomes 4m plus 3n is equal to 6, 4m plus 8n is equal to n, eliminating n by subtracting, we get minus 5n, cancel, is equal to minus 4, therefore n is equal to minus 4 upon minus 5, that is 4 upon 5. Once we get the value of n, we put it in one of the equation and solve for n. That is first equation for n plus 3 into n is 4 by 5. 4 upon 5 is equal to 6. That is 4n plus 12 upon 5 is equal to 6. 4m is equal to 6 minus 12 by 5, that's equal to LCM 5, 30 minus 12, that's equal to 18 upon 5, 4m is equal to 18 upon 5, or m is equal to 18 upon 5 into 4 cancelling by 2, 9, 2. So we get m is equal to 9 upon 10. We got the value of m and n, but m is 1 upon y. So replacing m by 1 upon y, 1 upon y is equal to 9 by 10. Cross multiplying, 10 is equal to 9 y, which implies that y is equal to 10 upon 9. And putting the value of 
n, we have got n is equal to 4 upon 5 and uh, n is uh, 1 upon x, so we write 1 upon x is equal to 1 upon uh, n, n is uh, 4 by 5. Cross multiply line, 5 is equal to 4x or x is equal to 5 by 4. Thus we got the value of x and y. Next thing, we can verify it. Once we get the answers of x and y, it is important to check because we have it, we may have some doubt whether the answer is correct or not. So this is how it is checked. We put the value of x and y in each of the equation. So we put the value for x, for into the value of x is substituted, value of y is substituted and after simplifying we get 25 by 3, that is the LHS. Similarly, we put the value of x and y in RHS. After substituting the value and simplifying it, we get 25 by 3. So, we verify that LHS is equal to RHS. So, the values of x and y is correct. Similarly, we can put the value of x and y in the second equation and check it. And we have verified that LHS and RHS are equal. Thus, we have confirmed that this solution we have got is correct. Let us uh, conclude the first obtain the equations. First we got the equations means those equations which are not linear and then observe the equations so that we can identify the repeating terms in each of the equations. Sometimes there you may not be able to find out a common factor then you may simplify as we did in example 3. Then replace each common factor by some other variable like m and n. Okay, other variables also can be used. Then replace those uh, uh, common factors by m and n. Rewrite them with m and n so that we get a pair of linear equations in two variables. Then solve the pair of linear equations in n, m and n that we got in step 3. Then replace m and n by the repeating factors that we did in step 2 and then finally solve for x and y or the variable which is given in the question. The assignment solve for x and y 7x minus 2y upon xy is equal to 5 first equation Second equation, 8x plus 7y upon xy is equal to 15. As you know, they are not linear equations. So, you have to reduce it to linear equations into variable. Look at the second equations. <coughs> 10 upon x plus y plus 2 upon x minus y is equal to 4. 15 upon x plus y minus 5 upon x minus y is equal to minus 2. As, uh, I told you earlier, you observe these equations and find out what are the repeating terms. Then replace the repeating terms by m and n to get a linear equation in two variables. Solve those linear equations in m and n and then replace with the x and y. Thank you.